But this time I'm taking a break right now before I start flaking. Um, so I just want to give a big special shout out to the person who turned me to custom cans. This is custom cans right here. And you can find from every single color, from pearls to candy to metallics to shimmer, marble. We've got Lumo, Chromatic, Spectracoat, you name it. They got tons and tons of colors. For me, I'm using custom cans. I have not used a, a candy color of any other company. And so far, this has been the best one, being that it's the first one. Um, 
that I have ever used. So this is my first time using candy color like I mentioned, especially we're using flakes, um, metal flakes. This is the base metallic silver course right here that I'm using for flakes. They're not like the bigger flakes because I don't think they make nozzles for that type of flakes. But I'm pretty sure that this is just more than enough um, metallic for your candy. Now the candy to lay down will be super special. Uh, whatever color you choose or whatever other paint you choose. But go ahead and check them out. Custom paints, custom cans. I ordered mine off of Amazon. Um, I should have just went straight to the website, but I just want to say special shout out to Far Away Paints. Um, Far Away is the person who got me into checking their website out because I do not have a place where I can go ahead and have a big compressor. I don't have a big compressor. I don't have a spray gun. Uh, besides, this is a small project that I think anybody can use spray cans. And so I want to go ahead and did that. So if you want the uh, more information on how many cans of primer I use, how many cans of uh, metallics I use, and how many cans of candy I use, I'll leave it in the last video of this whole series of my bike getting painted. So. All, everything will be done and you guys gotta see for yourselves all right so go and check them out let's get back to it all right so we finally got everything primer down I'm gonna let it uh, dry and then I'm gonna come back and bring you guys back and then what I'm gonna do is sand it down and then get ready for the flake, the metal flake that is, all right? So I'll see you guys in a while. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go ahead and sand these down so that we can go ahead and have them smooth and have them prepped for the uh, base coat, all right? So let's get to it. And I'm just going to do it on here. Actually, I'm not going to use the block. I have a soft block, but I'm not going to use this. What is going on everybody? We are back here again. This time we're gonna finish off this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet sand this. I was thinking about leaving it because it became crackled and made it look like they were both made on purpose, but instead what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just I'm gonna sand it down. And then uh, from there, I'm going to retape it and paint it again and then um, put the candy color on it and then go ahead and clear it tonight. And then this will be done tonight. <laughs> 